Hello Internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthew van der Putte. I'm a time-lapse photographer living in Sydney, Australia and this channel is all about time-lapse travel and teaching and today I'm teaching you how to turn this into this. How bloody good. Before we begin with the actual tutorial I need to mention a few things and a few people. Firstly, the, pers the, person, the person that inspired me to create these time slices years and years ago, I think in 2013, is Dan Mark Moore, or at Dan Orst Online. He's a photographer, I think he's from LA, and he made some images and some videos about these types of images years and years ago, and he didn't really ever disclose how he specifically made them, but I was very much intrigued by it, and I eventually figured out my own way of making them. But yeah, I've got to give my, uh, you know, the source of of this, uh, the inspiration is uh, is Dan, so thanks for that, Dan. Secondly, the reason I am making this tutorial right now is because my buddy Emmerich from LA as well has made his own tutorial and it's already live. It's all about how to do this effect in Premiere Pro. It is a bit more time consuming and I think it's less customizable, but the video's live and if you only have Premiere and you wanna keep it in Premiere, then you keep it there. So go check that out, it's linked up there or down below. Thirdly, if you'd prefer to read this tutorial, you can go check out my blog where I've written everything down in a step-by-step -step guide. You can also download a little PDF and you can find all the links and all the relevant content that you are after. Let's go back to the golden age of the internet where there were no social media algorithms and you just visit a website to consume high quality content. How bloody good. Links down below. Fourthly, I am on a holiday in Belgium at the moment, hence the bad audio quality. Apologies. So, let's get going with this tutorial, shall we? What do you need to create a time slice video like this? Obviously, you need a time-lapse video that goes from day to night or night to day. It really doesn't matter which direction it goes in, as long as the light changes. Now, this isn't the most difficult thing, but if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to make this type of time-lapse, which we call a holy grail, you can go check out my previous upload or my blog post, where I teach you in about 12 minutes, I think, from beginning to end, how to shoot and process an entire clip like that. So that's crucial that you master the art of holy grail time-lapses. I'll explain really briefly how this specific workflow works. Once you have your holy grail time-lapse video file, we're going to load it in to After Effects, split it up into columns, and then we're going to move those columns forward or backwards in time. We're going to split them into the columns using a plugin that we'll download for After Effects, and we're going to move them forward and backward with another plugin. One of them is Shareware, where you donate what you want, or you can just download it for free. The other one costs about 20 bucks. I always like doing the right thing and paying these people money because the more money they get, the more plugins they can make and the more software they can create. And it's the same what happened with Gunther from LR Timelapse, the magical software that makes us uh, make so many things possible. The more money these people make, the better the software becomes. And that's just, uh, that's a win-win in my opinion. So, you know, consider doing the right thing and uh, throw in a couple of dollars this way. You can find the download links in the blog linked below. Follow the installation progress for the plugins, open After Effects and import your Holy Grail video file. Create a composition from the video file and open set composition. To get a bigger time slice effect, I often double the speed of the Holy Grail time lapse before I slice it up. So before you divide using the divide and corner plugin, right click on the clip, go to time, time stretch and hit 50 as a stretch factor. This will half the length of the total clip so it will double the speed. Then go to window, divide and corner to duplicate and cut the layer into columns. Let's go with a simple 32 columns, one row and zero margin. You can play around with these settings to see what else you can create. You're going to want straight corners, by the way. Hit divide and witness the efficiency of this plugin. That's why you pay money for these things. It has duplicated the layer and masked it very accurately according to your desired settings. How good. Next up is shifting these layers in time. You're gonna hit window, open up the shift layers plugin and set it to stagger. Make sure your time marker is at the start of the timeline and set your frame amount. This can be anything from one to whatever amount of frames with the limiting factor being the length of your clip. Because you are shifting the start and end of the clips, your total usable clip length where all of the masked footage is visible at the same time will become shorter. Play around with how much you shift forward or backward in time to get different results. You can really go as crazy as you want, there are no limits. Depending on how many columns you've cut your shot up in, you might end up with little gaps between the rows due to pixel numbers, I guess. I've got the solution for that problem on the blog, so come check it out if you run into that one. I guess this is me trying to get some traffic to my website, thank you. Set your in and out point for the render and go to File, 
export, add to render queue. I use a ProRes codec, but anything with a high enough bitrate should do the trick. Wait for the render to finish, which can be very, very long by the way, and then destroy the quality of your work by uploading it to Instagram. And that's it, seriously, that's all it takes to generate these crazy time slices. Now, the way Dan Norse does them is on another level still, I haven't figured those out, but yeah, I highly recommend go check out his work. He's a, he's a bit of a beast when it comes to video and photo creation. Again, the premiere version of this tutorial is on Emmerich's channel, link down below or on the blog. If you share any of your work that you created using my tutorial, I would love to see it wherever it is, Twitter or Instagram, I'm at Matt Joes. You can use the hashtag Matt Joes Time Slice because I'll follow that one and then I'll see automatically who's posted on that tag and then uh, I might leave a comment and uh, yeah, that's just, uh, that's fun, isn't it? It's nice because it's, you know, it's social media and you get you become social and you connect with people. And that's it for today's video. It's quite short, I like it, you know, nice and efficient. Again, thanks Emmerich for kicking my butt into action to make this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Uh, leave us a like and a comment if you liked the video. Uh, if you have anything to share, any future video requests, tutorials, vlogs, you name it, drop it down below, I'll have a read, and uh, who knows, your suggestion might be the next video. Oh, and don't forget to turn on post notifications because YouTube's algorithm is, uh, yeah, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen with that. Honestly, that's the whole reason I've started the email list and the blog because it is me in control. Also, check out Patreon if you wanna support the channel. Much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you on the next video.